Hey YouTube, what's up? Thank you for watching. Um, if I talk real fast, I'm just trying to get this out before work. Uh, I'm working six days this week. Had a funeral to go to. This has been a real hectic week. I haven't had much time. Um, so just bear with me. If you can't understand me and I'm a real scatterbrained, I apologize. But what are you going to do? I want to tell you about this party that we weren't in uh, invited to recently. Will E.T. be here soon? NASA brings scientists, theologians together to prepare. I'm going to skip around. A few days ago, NASA tried closing the gap between life on Earth and the possibilities of life elsewhere. The space agency and the Library of Congress brought together scientists, historians, philosophers, and theologians from around the world for a two-day symposium called Preparing for Discovery. Their agenda to explore how we prepare for the inevitable discovery of extraterrestrial life, be it simple microbial organisms or intelligent beings. They had to start looking for intelligent beings in the government and Vatican and NASA, but that's another video for another day. We're looking at all scenarios about finding life. If you find microbes, that's one thing. If you find intelligence, that's another. And if they communicate something else, depending on what they say, it's something else, said astronomer, symposium organizer, and former chief NASA historian, Lion McLeary Pants. Yeah, I like this, so this is good. The idea is not to wait until we make a discovery, but to try and prepare the public for what the implications might be when such a discovery is made. And I think the reason the NASA is backing this is because of all the recent activity in the discovery of exoplanets and the advances in astrobiology in general. Or NASA knows they're about to use CERN to bust open some portal stargate straight to hell and let loose Satan and the fallen angels on Earth and help bring in the old new world order. I like this too. I believe alien life exists, but I have no evidence. I would be really excited, and it would make my understanding of my religion deeper and richer in ways that I can't even predict yet, which is why it would be so exciting. Said Brother Guy Consomme Soup, a Jesuit brother, astronomer, and Vatican planetary scientist. You know what he also said? He said that any entity, no matter how many tentacles it has, it has a soul. And he suggested that he would be happy to baptize any ETs as long as they requested it. Does that sound right to anybody? I'm just going to skip down here. Because here's the only real truth to this article. I really think it would be a three-day wonder, and then we'd go back to worrying about reality TV or the crazy things that go on in Washington, because that's the way human beings are. That's why a lot of us who research this stuff wish they would just come out and tell us the truth. Because the fact of the matter is, nobody cares. They can make a big deal about it, have a huge press conference, tell us all this stuff, and people will do exactly this. Go right back to reality TV, go back to football, go back to Facebook, go back to fueling the divide and conquer agenda in Washington. That is exactly what would happen. So I don't know what the big deal is, why they are trying to hide it from everybody. Nobody cares. Just the small fraction of us. That's it. Now, I just accidentally stumbled onto this site. I, I don't I have no idea how legit it is, but I just find it funny because it's been going along with what we've been talking about. I don't agree with all this stuff, but I just want to I want to go ahead and, and point out some interesting correlations about what we've been talking about. The Stargate opening in 2017 and, and then letting loose the demons and the fallen angels and Satan on Earth. The process of dissolving the lower dimensional energy capsules within the auric field and transmutating their particle content to the next harmonic universe is referred to as transmutative activation or stellar activation. As a planetary body or human body, body evolves through frequency accretion, the energetic capsules within the auric field progressively undergo transmutation of form, because that's supposedly what happens when these stargates open. There is an evolution, meaning that, just that things change, and, 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 and it's different. Supposedly, that's why it's a battle for survival, and everything eats everything to survive. It used to not be like this, but whenever the, the Stargate opened, the light fell the last time, that's, that's what happened on Earth. I'm just sharing what I've found, and I don't know how true this stuff is. I'm just sharing the research that, that I've found and, and, and telling some of the stuff I've heard other people say. Um, let's see, get into more of this stuff. Stellar activations are a natural part of the accretion evolution process and occur as the pulsation rhythms of particles in the lower three dimensions speed up into the rhythmic, or into the, I'm sorry, into the rhythms of the next three dimensional frequency bands. As the levels dissolve, progressively more energy and awareness merge. I like that. And awareness merge with and become held with them, the matter form and the matter form shifts from one set of dimensional time continuum cycles to another. And it even comes right out and says that Earth and the human populations are now approaching a series of stellar activations as part of Earth's natural cycle. 
um, it says that we're experiencing six of these activations between 2000 and 2017, and that's the story. Is that supposedly the Stargate's going to open in 2017, which is exactly what it says here. Earth has entered a Stargate opening cycle between 2000 and 2017, for the first time since 208,216 BC. That's where I don't, I don't agree with that because I think it's happened since then, but I don't know. That would kind of explain all the weird things that people have been seeing these last several years, right? And I like this, the angelic humans on earth are being reminded of the need to fulfill their original divine commission as planetary stewards and keepers of earth's planetary Templar complex. But I don't know. Like I said, I just that that's that's supposedly why they're going so hard at going into the Middle East with Syria and Iraq and Iran, because apparently that's where this stuff takes place and they need to get in there to get it. So very interesting stuff. And uh, I'm going to throw some more support her way because she talked about this in, this in one of her new videos. You know, that whenever these Stargates open up, there's, there's an evolution, things change, and a whole lot of people die. And it really does seem that th th these events take place. I mean, they've been documented all over the world and every continent, whether it be stones or rocks or bamboo or books. It, this, is, this has been documented. Artifacts all over the world describe these events. And, you know, I just I think she does a lot of really great work. And I'll put her a channel uh, link below to her channel, and she catches more crap on YouTube than anyone I've ever known on here, and it's true. And and usually, whenever that happens, it means because you're onto something. So she's just speaking her mind. She's not hurting anybody. I don't understand what the big hubbub about her is. So I just wanted to throw some support her way because it's been going along with all the stuff we've been talking about. And in fact, I got this information from watching her in occult science and just doing my own separate research, and Mr. McClary as well. Um, as much as I don't really agree a lot with what that guy says, he does say some really cussing smart things every now and then, it's true, but I'm not a big supporter of him because of crap he talks about her, which I just don't understand, but whatever, man, let's just leave that alone. So I find it interesting that this article talks about, you know, planetary body and human body evolutions taking place in between this 2000 to 2017 time cycle, because here is from, I hate the Daily Mail, but I, this caught my eye whenever I read this. Are we evolving into a new type of human? Different species will have evolved by 2050, scientists claim. So, you know, these guys know this stuff. If it's true, they absolutely know it. They're just hiding it. And last but not, well, I got one more thing, too, actually, besides this. Thanks to Joe 5. You can't make this up, man. You cannot make this stuff up. There is some research lab called ISIS, which just happens to represent the female aspect of Saturn or Satan, which is exactly what they're trying to let loose with CERN. And it, right here, you can see it with your, with your own eyes, ISIS is working together with CERN. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. You really can't. So thanks again to Joe 5. Awesome stuff, man. Awesome, awesome find. Give me a cussing break, man. And then I'll leave you with this. This was too funny. I found this last week on CNN when they were talking about the Scotland independence. Check this out, man. I don't know if they're close to opening up these gates or what, but here's your red pillar. Here's your blue pillar. Here's a door open, and they're just walking right in. So I don't know if that's a... They're trying to say that they just about got these Stargates. They're, they're about to work them. Or I, I, I have no idea, but, man, this means something. I mean, come on. This is the Masonic Arch. This is the whole thing right here. They even got it labeled red and blue with the pillars. I mean, you, 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 this is not by accident. So thank you to everybody, as always. Um, big thanks to my teammates and subs, because whenever you start talking about this, you know, people just shut down. But we could be all completely off, but... There's too many things that, that, that correspond and, and, and just seem to provide credibility and validation to this whole Stargate opening thing. I know people don't like it, but it's, it just seems to be too much stuff that just is it's way – it's not a coincidence. It's, just, it's, not, it's, not, it's not possible. So links will be below. Thanks for hanging in there with me on this long video. Appreciate it, everybody. See you in the next video. Bye.